Susan Pitzer here with Tupperware and I want to show you a really quick easy recipe for the microwave with the Tupperware stack cooker and it's going to take 30 minutes. We're doing um, the Italian rice and chicken and vegetables and then on the top we're going to do a peach crisp. And so I'm going to show you really quickly how to put that together and it's all going to stack together and cook in the microwave for 30 minutes. On the base, we have, um, I've got two cups of minute rice and a teaspoon of parsley flakes and a half a teaspoon of thyme and then a half a stick of butter and I've just cut that into chunks. And then to this mixture, um, and also a half a teaspoon of salt. And we're just gonna add a can of chicken broth. Just gonna mix that in. And that's in the three quart base of the stack cooker. Make sure the rice is all down in the liquid, and then we're going to stack the medium casserole dish on top of that. And then I've just got uh, frozen mixed vegetables. You can use frozen or fresh, whatever you have on hand or whatever you can use. And just pour that in there. And on top of this is where we're going to put the chicken breast. And I've bought the tenders, and we're going to dip this into some mayonnaise, and then uh, roll that in some Italian breadcrumbs, and sprinkle with some Parmesan and garlic powder, and then I'm going to sprinkle it with paprika. And whenever you do these, I'll show you. Coat it with the mayonnaise. Let's make sure you can see that. Just get a little bit of mayonnaise on it. And then dip that into your breadcrumbs. I'm just going to sprinkle it with the Parmesan cheese. The Parmesan is not going to hurt the flakes, your breadcrumbs here. So do that. And then I'm going to sprinkle it with the garlic powder. And then the paprika. The paprika will actually give it a little bit of color and browning and it'll also it'll form a crust on here by doing it this way and i'm going to roll those and on your chicken just place it around the outer edge because your microwaves actually cook from the outside in so you want to put your largest portion of the chicken towards the outer edge so we're just going to make a ring in here of the chicken and I'll show you that whenever I get it completed. Okay, and there you see we've got the ring of the chicken. And now we're gonna do the top layer. We're gonna do the peach cobbler or the peach crisp on top. Love peaches. And for the top layer, I just got some frozen peaches. And I'm just gonna use the whole bag. These look really good. Show you that. All right, so on the top layer, I've got the peaches, and then we're gonna do the uh, crumble topping. And so I've mixed together three-fourths cup of sh uh, brown sugar, three-fourths a cup of flour, and three-fourths a cup of oatmeal. And just melted a stick of butter, 
mix that up and then you've got your crumble. I'm just gonna put this over our peaches. Oh, it also, um, I forgot to mention, it has a teaspoon of cinnamon as well. And you can use any type of fruit that you want on that and use the same crumble topping. It's great with apples, cherries. Um, another thing you can do is if you have like a pie, uh, can of cherry pie filling, you can actually open that up, pour that in there, and then take uh, half of a yellow cake mix with a stick of butter. Mix just those two items together and it'll make like a topping like this and just uh, put the crumble on top of that and you can make a cobbler on top with that type of recipe as well. You can change it up to your liking and if you don't want to do a dessert, something sweet, you can actually do more vegetables or whatever else that you want to cook on the top layer. But I've got all the ingredients in here and I'll show you what we're starting out with. And I'm gonna put that in the microwave for 30 minutes and then I'll be back and show you what we've got. Okay, our timer is just almost ready to go. There it is. I'm gonna get this out and I'll show you what we have. And I love the, fa the fact that you can grab these by the handles on the sides. They don't get hot to the touch. Show you layer by layer. We've got the peach crisp. Smells really good. And then there's the chicken and vegetables. As you can see, it's kind of got a nice browning. And then our rice. In 30 minutes, you have a complete meal ready and you can sit back and relax while it cooks in the microwave for 30. But um, that's our Italian chicken, the rice, and then the peach crumble, peach crisp on top. Okay, so we've cooked our complete meal, took 30 minutes in the microwave. And I just wanna show you how tender the chicken, look at how it just falls apart there. And it's got a nice crust to it. Really good. The vegetables, everything's cooked. And I'll show you another one just so you can see how tender these are. This one here. But it just falls apart. And one thing about the microwave, it actually cooks with a moist heat versus your oven. So I know a lot of people are worried about it drying out, but this is really, really moist and tender and juicy. If I can help with anything, please let me know and um, hope you enjoy this recipe. And if you have a stack cooker, I hope you get a chance to try it out and see the flavors. And you can alternate. We have so many recipes on the Tupperware blog that you can interchange and you know put whatever foods that you want on the different levels. We've got recipes that show what section to put them in. So it's a really great product. But that's the Tupperware stack cooker. has a full lifetime warranty. And... Would love to help if I can, and you have a wonderful evening.